what challenges and opportunities do you see in science in the future? Sure. So it's great to see you here today, Patricia, as well. Um, and thank you for being on campus with us. Um, I think the endeavor of science oftentimes seems like really abstract for the communities that we're trying to work with. And I, I think the biggest challenge and the biggest hope that I have is that we actually connect the science that we're doing here at the medical college with things that are relevant and important in people's everyday lives. Yeah, I think it's so important to be able to connect with, with our everyday lives so that people can be here. If we want more diversity in the research community and, and what we do here at the Medical College of Wisconsin, what do we need to do today to impact that more diverse workforce in the future? I think we need to normalize it. I think that when people think of um, science, they, they just have very specific uh, idea what a scientist could do and so I think that if we normalize it in the community and educate our community on what kind of different programs they could go through or or individuals that work in research they're also scientists and sometimes we don't see as researcher scientists so I think that in order for us to um, have more diversity in the future is talk to the kids mm -hmm. so that they could see the possibility mm -hmm. of, I could be one of yeah. them, I could make a difference in people's lives through research, through um, working in a medical college, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I think that it's not just becoming a doctor or a nurse, it's, it's being able to have access to know what other fields are there. Yeah. And so I think that's important. I think that's exactly right. I mean, I, I, I guess I wonder how young can we start getting that idea that this could be part of your future, uh, and, you know, in, in terms of the professions. Uh, how young can we start with kids? I think that kindergarten, because that's when they want to be everything. You know, you say, what do you want to be? And then they, if their father is a mechanic, they want to be a mechanic. They want to be an astronaut. They, that when they're little, they, the sky is the limit. And then what happens is that as they get start going into second, third grade, they're like, oh, you can't do that. Well, you know, if, we, if you continue since they're little and then continue on with different STEM, STEM programs and, and schools, then they could visualize and visualize themselves being part of, of that community. Because I think it's, it's frustrating sometimes when um, I see pictures of scientists or or people that are making a difference in, in our, our scientific world, they, they don't look like me, and they don't look like a lot of other people. So when people don't look like you, you don't think that that is a, a, a career or a place that you could be at. When I, when I say the word science, what do you think of? I think of hope for humanity. Um, there are so many issues out there in our community that will, could be addressed with science, and unfortunately, as a community, sometimes we don't see that as hope. We see a lot of other things as hope. But I personally want to make sure that my community knows that science is hope. It's hope mm -hmm. for health, hope for, I mean, we have so many things that we don't know and science could explain. So it is important for us to have faith. And, and I think that our community is, is ingrained with faith and, mm -hmm. and our beliefs and, and so on and so forth, but also science is an important part of that faith. And I think that that's one of my goals in life is to really show our community that faith and science should not be you know, divided, separated. separated. Yeah. It comes together. And so then that's why I, I think of you know, hope when, when I think of, of science. And the reason I'm smiling right now is because there's a set of kids that just walked in, right? And uh -huh. I'm thinking about hope and what does that mean in terms of sort of multi-generational, mm -hmm. a multi-generational perspective. And I think you're really touching on that, that science can impact us across the generations into the future. And that's mm -hmm. a very powerful way to, to think about. So when you hear the word data, Dr. Sino, what do you think about? It's really simple. I think about progress. With data, we have evidence of what works and what doesn't work, and we can change what we're doing from the biomedical side, we can change what we're doing in the community side to make people's lives better, to improve their health. And so I think one of the key things from my perspective is trying to make, when we collect data, that people see why. Why are we collecting information? Oftentimes people say, you're asking all these questions and I don't understand how it's relevant. And again, I'm gonna come back to that same answer that I gave you before, how is the work that we're doing relevant to the community? And we have to show that if we want good data. 
if we ask the right questions in the right way, people understand the why, they give us good data, and we're able to make progress in, in people's lives and, and their health. That's wonderful, and especially we have diverse data, because I think data has to be diverse in order to, to be able to have the correct information. Absolutely. So one of the things that I'm proudest of in my time here at the Medical College is the All of Us program, something that you and I have worked on quite a bit. And I just went to a, a face-to-face -face meeting in Washington, D.C., and one of the things that they said there was that the data that we've collected, partially from here at the Medical College, in collaboration with the community, for the first time, we have one of the most diverse sets of genetic information ever produced. And to your point, if the community is included, if the data is representative of the entire community, then we're able to make sure that the progress that we're seeing in the biomedical fields improves everyone's lives, not just some people's lives. Well, congratulations, because I think that that's uh, one of the goals to make sure that we have diverse data, so that, that's great. That's, that's what we're focused on. I know that's what you're focused on, and that's what we're trying to do as well. But it's a process. It doesn't come all at once.